If the perimeter of a rectangle is 46 centimeters and the area is 130 square centimeters, then what are the dimensions of the rectangle? Let's go ahead and model the given information. We'll let the length of the short side be x and the length of the long side be y. So again, we know on the left that perimeter is equal to 46 centimeters. On the right, the area of the same rectangle is equal to 130 square centimeters. And now write an equation for the perimeter and an equation for the area. Because the perimeter is the length around the outside of the rectangle, the perimeter is equal to 2x plus 2y, which we know is equal to 46 centimeters. And then to find the area, we multiply the length and the width, which gives us the equation x times y equals 130. And now we need to solve the system of equations. Let's use the method of substitution. We'll solve the first equation for y, and then perform a substitution into the second equation. Using the first equation, let's first isolate 2y by subtracting 2x on both sides. This gives us 2y equals 46 minus 2x. And now to solve for y, we divide both sides by two, which gives us y equals 23 minus x. And since y is equal to 23 minus x, we can now substitute 23 minus x for y in the second equation. This will give us an equation that only contains x. Performing this substitution, we have x times the quantity 23 minus x equals 130. And now we need to solve this equation. Let's first put the parentheses on the left side by distributing x. This gives us 23x minus x squared equals 130. Notice here we have a quadratic equation. We normally prefer the x squared term to be positive. Let's go ahead and move the 23x and the minus x squared to the right side by subtracting 23x and adding x squared to both sides. This gives us zero equals x squared minus 23x plus 130. And now let's see if we can factor this. If it does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. And because the first term is x squared, we have an x in the first positions of both binomials. And now to find the constant terms of the binomials, we need to find the factors of positive 130 that add to negative 23. Because we have a positive product and a negative sum, we know we have to use two negative factors of 130. Well, 10 times 13 is equal to 130, and the sum is 23. And since we need a sum of negative 23, we will use the factors of negative 13 and negative 10. This gives us a binomial factor of x minus 13 and a binomial factor of x minus 10. From here, the product on the right is equal to zero when x minus 13 equals zero or x minus 10 equals zero. And now we solve these two equations for x, which gives us x equals 13 or x equals 10. We still have to go back and find y now. To do this, let's use the fact that we know that x times y equals 130. So when x is 13, y must be positive 10. And when x is 10, y must equal positive 13. Notice either way, the rectangle has the same dimensions. It's a 13 centimeter by 10 centimeter rectangle. Looking at how we're supposed to give the answer, we're asked to give the width or short side, which would have a length of 10 centimeters, and the length or longer side would have a length of 13 centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.